Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Aviation Safety Resources XRD Recovery System to be offered on SBX eBTOL. Also, new launch date set for next Starliner flight test. And Fruity Shoots Parachute Release protects drones from ground damage. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode today filled with the latest news. So let's start with Aviation Safety Resources XRD Recovery System to be offered on SBX eVTOL. Aviation Safety Resources and GRUG Group have completed a strategic development and supply agreement that will make ASR's parachute recovery system standard equipment on GRUG's XBX aircraft. All aircraft vehicle parachute recovery systems are essential to the projected market growth of eVTOL Urban Air Mobility, said Larry Williams, ASR President and CEO. The SBX is a full electric aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. Powered by four tilting shredder rotors, the SBX can also fly autonomously or piloted. ASR's engineering and design team will work with Grug Group and partners to design, produce, and test a recovery system that matches the unique dimensions and requirements of the SBX. Last year, ASR announced its introduction of its Soteria family of parachute recovery solutions for light sport, ultralight, and experimental air aircraft, and the ASR team won a shark tank style pitch competition at the Revolution. Aero Innovation Summit 2019 in San Francisco and recently announced an STTR award from the U.S. Air Force for the Agility Prime program. The product application for the SBX is the company's extreme rapid deployment system designed for specific challenges associated with the UAM market, namely parachute inflation with no forward speed. Coming up after the break, Raymond James Stadium in Tampa is a no drone zone. I'll tell you why after these messages. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Let's go ahead and start with North Dakota DOT and Northern Plains UAS test site announced partners for FAA Beyond Program. The North Dakota Department of Transportation and the Northern Plains UAS test site are partnering with major players in the commercial UAS industry to execute the goals of the FAA Beyond Program. We are incredibly excited to announce our partnerships with such innovative companies from within North Dakota and across the country, said North Dakota DOT Director Bill Panos. Partnerships like this keep us at the cutting edge of UAS advancements. FAA wants to remind you again that Tampa Bay is a no drone zone during Super Bowl 55. And that means on February 7th, drones are also prohibited around the Tampa Riverwalk for the NFL Super Bowl experience during the days leading up to the event. The FAA is establishing a TFR on game day that will prohibit drones within 30 nautical mile radius of the stadium up to 18,000 feet in altitude. Drones are also prohibited for one nautical mile around Raymond James Stadium on February 7th from 10 a.m. until the TFR for the game takes effect. Drones are set to battle locust. 
The UN warned last week that East Africa remains under the threat of desert locust invasions due to the prevailing favorable breeding conditions, which enable new swarms to form and increase. As African countries prepared for the imminent crisis, the smart ag tech company Zag has proposed that agricultural drones through more targeted night spraying application can strongly support the current ground and aerial measures. Drones specifically developed by Zag for agriculture can be used to combat these pests that have wreaked havoc on food crops and placed millions of people into hunger. A passenger inside a helicopter gets injured by a drone. Another helicopter drone collision has again been reported. Though the helicopter landed okay, there were injuries to a person seated in the front of a Chilean Navy Bell UH-57B, otherwise known as Bell 206B. The drone, apparently a DJI Mavic Air 2, went through the front of the windscreen and into the cockpit. A passenger, not the pilot, was clobbered by the drone, though the injuries were said to be non-life-threatening. That was our Unman Minute. Now let's return to the rest of the news. New launch date target set for the next Starliner flight test. NASA and Boeing are targeting no earlier than Thursday, March 25th for the launch of the Starliner's second uncrewed flight test as part of the agency's commercial crew program. Boeing's Orbital Flight Test 2, or OFT-2, is a critical developmental milestone on the company's path to fly crew missions for NASA to the International Space Station. The new launch date is enabled by an opening on the Eastern Range. The availability of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, steady progress in hardware and software, and an International Space Station docking opportunity. Boeing recently mated the spacecraft's reusable crew module on its brand new service module inside the Starliner production factory at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Teams are working to complete outfitting of the vehicle's interior before loading cargo and conducting final spacecraft checkouts. The OFT-2 mission will launch Starliner on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, docked to the International Space Station, and returned to land in the western United States about a week later as part of an end-to-end -end test flight to prove the system is ready to fly crew. After these messages, Fruity Shoot's parachute release protects drones from ground damage. More on that after the break. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. BLT is just another tick on your pre-flight checklist until you need it. Did you ever wonder what would happen if you had an engine failure over the mountains, marshland, or other dangerous terrain? Take to the skies confidently with the most reliable and highest performing ELTs and safety products on board that instantly mobilize life-saving search and rescue across the world. Read survivor stories from aviators and adventurers who survived life-threatening encounters thanks to ACR and Artex life-saving technology. Luck favors the prepared at SurvivorClub.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. Fruity Shoots Parachute Release protects drones from ground damage. Fruity Shoots has launched the Raven on landing parachute release, a device that allows a parachute to be automatically released from a payload upon landing. This mitigates potential damage caused by wind that could otherwise drag a valuable payload after landing. Unlike other on-landing release devices. The Raven on-landing parachute release is designed specifically for UAV and rocketry use and is lightweight, compact, and easy to use. In order to work reliably, the ROPR has an internal hold timer that assures the parachute will not be released early after the initial deployment due to the opening bounce or other deployment shocks. The hold timer locks the device while the parachute is opening and unstable. 
After being under shoot in steady descent for four to six seconds, the hold timer rotates to allow the release only after landing when the pull of the parachute unloads. Under no conditions can the parachute release early as long as the main parachute is open and the ROPR remains under load. This type of device has many applications for situations where having the parachute detach after landing is a huge benefit, such as landing drones, other UAV and rockets. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. You can also catch episodes on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.